Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Autobrief Ineligible Words List, I'm going to show you a feature that helps limit the number of briefs that you get that you can customize to add or remove words that are eligible or ineligible for Autobrief. This feature allows you to avoid briefs for less helpful phrases. The Autobrief Ineligible Word List can be found in your User Settings, in the Real-Time tab, under the Autobrief Settings window. There's an Ineligible Words List button here, or from the Programming tab of your User Settings, you can also access the same Autobrief Ineligible Words List. Right now, I've removed the default list of words that comes with Eclipse to show you what it looks like when you do not have these entries in the list. Having words in this list allows you to eliminate briefs for phrases that are less helpful than others. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and translate a file I've prepared for this purpose. And I'm going to do a virtual real-time translation and I'm going to press OK. And I'm just going to let this translate and you'll see on the left my briefs will begin stacking up. And here you see I've begun getting some briefs that are not quite as helpful. Things like all Sunday, that Saturday, that Sunday, that highway. So my translation is complete and I'm going to go ahead and open up the Autobrief Dictionary. And these are all of the briefs that were created, a total of 13 for this job during that translation. And you see that there are some that are very good. Things like Adrian, Radiological, Holiday and Major Holidays, Certification and Semiconductor, those are entries that I definitely would like to see in my auto brief. However, things like that highway, that Saturday, those semiconductors, and that Sunday are entries that are not as helpful in the brief system, and I don't want to see those in the future. And so what I'm going to do is go back to my user settings, to the real time tab, to settings, and in the auto brief settings, I'm going to hit ineligible words, and I'm going to replace the ineligible word list. This list is automatically included in your Eclipse settings and you don't need to produce it or import it from anywhere. I simply removed it from the first example just for explanatory purposes. And so you see there are a lot of regular words in here. Things like a, the, them, me, my, I, you, they, and other common words like an and and are all in this list. Eliminating these words from the brief system can ensure that you get briefs that you'll be able to use more consistently throughout the document. A brief for semiconductors in a transcript about semiconductors is very useful. However, a brief for those semiconductors isn't as useful. So now that I have this word list in here, I'm going to press OK, OK, and OK to save it. And I'm going to retranslate that same file again and we'll see how many briefs we get this time. I'll press OK and retranslate, and I'm going to let the file translate once again. And you'll see that I'll start getting the same briefs. However, towards the end of the file, I will not be getting those briefs for that Saturday, that Sunday, or those semiconductors. And so if I open up my Autobrief Dictionary again, you see that this time I only got seven briefs for that short job instead of 13. And so the auto brief ineligible words list was able to eliminate all six of those troublesome briefs that wouldn't have been as useful. But I do still have all of the good briefs that were recommended and those are free to be used throughout my translation. The ineligible word list will ensure that your suggested list of briefs doesn't become unwieldy and contains briefs that are the most useful. If there are words that you would like to see briefed that you don't see briefed currently, you can go to your user settings, to the real time tab, to the auto brief settings, and to ineligible words, and check and see if that word is on the ineligible word list. If it is, you can simply place your cursor at the end of the word and backspace the word out of the list. If there's a word you'd like to add to the list to make sure that auto brief never recommends a brief for a phrase containing it, you can add a line and type in the word that you'd like to add. 
Once you've made any changes to this list, simply press OK and OK and OK, and your Autobrief suggestions will be updated to represent that new list. As an example, I can place semiconductor in the ineligible word list. And if I translate my file once more, I will not get a brief for semiconductor. And you see that on the left, the brief never popped up. And if I open my autobrief dictionary, I now only have six briefs instead of seven and semiconductor is not included. And so including or excluding words from the brief system is as simple as going to your user settings, to the real time tab, to autobrief settings, and then ineligible words. Any word in this list won't be eligible to be autobriefed. And if you'd like to see words in this list eligible for briefs, just remove them. Having words in your ineligible word list is important. It allows Autobrief to function its best and suggest the best and most useful briefs for you. However, like most things in Eclipse, it's completely customizable. And so you can make sure that it works for you. Thank you so much for watching this video about Autobrief ineligible words. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thanks so much and have a great day.